hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so in this episode i am going to add forms to this water material we were working on so now as you can see whenever this uh, water surface uh, overlap with some another space just uh, it can be the landscape or, or it can be any other foliage or anything basically in any kind of a mesh uh, you can see some kind of a form on this water surface so that's what i'm going to do today so it will not happen only for the static meshes it will on it will happen also for the player or any other skeletal mesh as well so if you go like this you can see the form formed around the character as well and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me that means a lot to me right so now this is what i have at the moment uh, it's just the water and it doesn't have any kind of a form in the edge of the water so yeah i want to add some forms today okay so yeah here is the material instance and let me open the water material it's like this I'll let me organize this for a bit before doing anything else uh, these are about fresh fresnel but and this is normal right uh, now uh, just like we did uh, using this depth, depth fade here what I want to do is using the same depth fade node you sit as uh, some parameter to linearly interpolate between this normal color and another form color so yeah let me duplicate this with ctrl w and I re make this one form color right now I'll change its color to white so later we can replace this with the texture of course but uh, for now let's go with the color so it's easier to handle things and then um, let's linearly interpolate this form color with the regular water color and I'll plug it for the base color so for this alpha I'll use another depth fade node for now I'll break this one because uh, yeah because with that we everything we, would disappear near the show right and i'll promote this fair distance parameter i'll call it for fade distance and as for the default value i'll put 10 don't know if that work or not let's see and apply okay the shader is being compiled at the moment let me put the material instance here right now as you can see you see some white at the edge of the water so what happens if I increase this form fair distance yeah just like this as you can see that distance is being increased so yeah 
yeah now when you look at from a distance you see at everywhere the water surface uh, start to overlap with any other object you can see some white here right so that's because of what we did here but this is uh, but uh, now then again we have this sharp edge problem that we worked on before so maybe let's see what if I plug this part again and apply right again shade is compiling let's wait okay now that uh, effect is somewhat gone but still you can see some kind of a firm color here at the edge all right so maybe we could refine the effect with some parameter changes let's see what happens if I reduce this fade distance okay yeah if I reduce the fade distance to 50 you can see the forms now appears more clearly cool yeah it's good well not perfect but it's something we can work with this see yeah now once we add some kind of a referral effect i mean not with the not just with the normal map but uh, something like can we add a world position offset yeah with that i think we can add some waves now let's see about that okay now instead of just using a, co a color maybe we can use a texture and see how it looks all right let me find the texture right uh, i imported this texture oh, i don't know will it look good or bad let's see so let me import this into my material and instead of form color i'll use this one but uh, we need tiling definitely so yeah we have yeah maybe this small ripple is scale will that work i don't know Uh, let's just duplicate this part oh no let's just connect this part this small ripple movement and use it to move the what is this uh, the form yeah and Let's apply and see how it looks. Okay, not so bad. But not so good either. Right, maybe let's try this. Instead of using an existing one, let's just add a new node setup like this. And I rename this to Former Scale.
Okay. Now let's see. the four here what if I make this one well, I don't see much of a difference Why is that? Okay, maybe what if I decrease the scale further? Nothing. Why am I not seeing anything clearly? Oh, wait. I did change something that I wasn't intended to do. For a moment let's uh, completely disable the opacity so that we can clearly see the form texture and compiling now still I don't see anything good in particular just because we use a form texture Right, uh, nothing. No. Yeah, let's try a very big value like thousand all right now we have the four yeah but now it looks horrible because it doesn't have any kind of a move so moment so yeah let me re-enable the opacity otherwise it looks bad okay so now uh, yeah uh, now you know uh, the ripples sorry uh, the forms uh, they usually don't go with the water but uh, they have some moment like a uh, sinusoidal moment so therefore uh, let me shall we increase this a little bit further and see how it looks cool okay right now let's add some moment to the forms like uh, at
let's add a side node here with the time input and then we can divide this with some parameter using this we can control well, let's set like uh, oh, let me promote this to a parameter let's call it uh, no not divide let's add a multiply for moment multi Player, right and the value should be like 0 0.01 and let me multiply this with another parameter I'll call that form displacement as the initial value let's try it and apply So we should see some kind of a going forth and back, forth and back kind of a movement now in the form. And we should be able to tweak the speed and the amount of movement using those parameters I just created. Right, let's see. See, just like I said, now they have movement, but I feel that's too fast. So. Where are those parameters? Yeah, here. Form displacement. I'll make it one. And they are going in the same direction. Why are they not coming back? Ah, right. Let's make it one okay now you see the sinusoidal moment but it's too fast definitely so let's try 0 point, no, point 0.1 that is still fast let's reduce the displacement into point 0.1 right now better okay so yeah I'll stop this episode at this point and in the next episode I want to work on the waves now that we have worked on forms and yeah yeah next part is waves and after that we need I have already implemented a function a way to add uh, another material landscape material layer to match with the wet ground layer because this is near the water and let's do that after working on waves okay right so I'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye